Jonathan Gavoni of DraftExpress.com in Chicago, Illinois, the McDonald's All-American game. We're here with Kyle Wiltshire uh, going to Kentucky. Kyle, how did you feel about the way you played this week? Uh, I thought I played well. Uh, I, thought I, I thought I competed well. Uh, it's just a lot of fun being with the best players, and uh, uh, it just shows me all the stuff I need to work on. It's funny because in the, in the scrimmages, you were pretty much doing whatever you wanted offensively, scoring from outside, inside, putting the ball on the floor. Uh, maybe the most versatile big guy here offensively. Do you think that you were able to surprise some people the way you played? A little bit. I mean, I, I've been working hard uh, in the gym with my trainer, so it's just nice to go to an event like this and show off my skills and all the stuff I've been working on. But uh, definitely when you're playing against the best, it elevates my game and makes me want to compete even harder. Watching you play, it seems like um, you've watched a lot of film of, uh, you know, of some very good players. Is that where that's come from, or has that been individual instruction? Like, where do all those moves, those fakes, you know, the bumps, the hooks, where does that all come from? Um, I mean, like you said, I watch a lot of players online. Uh, I don't watch, like, the highlight players that most kids watch these days. I watch fundamental players, game people that I emulate. But uh, my dad's been a huge development in my game. He's taught me pretty much everything I know from the post, so I'm just so grateful having such a great mentor. Who are some of the guys that you like to watch when you're you know, breaking down film? Um, I'm a big fan of Larry Bird. Uh, I watch Kevin Love, how he rebounds, uh, because he's not the most athletic guy, but he gets it done. Uh, I like watching uh, Hidu Turkoglu, Ryan Anderson, just big guys who can uh, stretch the floor and you know, are very skilled. Uh, looking at some of the recruiting uh, projections, most of them have you as a five. But you know, watching you, I'm like, you know, this guy looks like he'd be a pretty good four in in, in most leagues. Is that what you what you see your uh, position being at the end at the end of the day? Um, I don't see my position being one position, uh, to be honest. I mean, I just try to be as versatile as possible. Uh, whatever the team needs, I try to do it. So, if they need me at the five, I'd like to be in the five. But if, if they need me at four or three, I can do that too. How much of uh, Kentucky have you watched in the last month uh, in the tournament here? Uh, I've caught every game. Uh, it's a lot of fun watching something you're about to be part of and uh, just seeing yourself in it. So uh, uh, hopefully they can squeak out another couple more. What's, um, what are your thoughts on Cal's uh, half-court offense? How do you see yourself fitting in there? Uh, I mean, I see myself on the wing, in the post, uh, just whatever the matchups. I just try to be a mat uh, matchup problem for the other team. Those things that Harrelson is doing offensively, just kind of stepping out and, and using the handoffs and the screens and all that, do you think that suits your game? Um, yeah, I mean, I see him, and he gets the ball at the top, and there's a lot of room. So I think if I can stretch out the defense, it'll make it even tougher for us to d defend. And when you, when you have Marcus coming off a screen from me, they don't know what to do. So uh, I, just try to, I just can't wait to be in that system. I was sitting with a bunch of NBA guys today, and you know, every time one of the Canadian guys did something, they said, you know, are we, do we need to get concerned here about, uh, you know, maybe the U.S. losing to Canada at some point in the near future? Do you see that happening at some point? Um, I mean, I have very confidence in our guys. Uh, we're a very talented group. We're young, so I mean, if we stick together in the next four or five years, I think we could be a very tough group to play with. What are, you, what are your thoughts on where that's coming from? Because it just seems like there's just this explosion that's happened in the last maybe three years or so where, you know, Canada wasn't known as a real hot spot for basketball, but now it seems like there's just dozens of players that are emerging every year. Yeah, I mean, there's been a lot of talent the last couple of years, and uh, I think if we get them all together, I think we can be a very talented group because not only are we talented, but we work really hard. Uh, when I went to San Antonio and we had a training camp, all the guys work hard, and so I think that we can use that. How much are you looking forward to playing at the, at the Hoop Summit uh, next week? Uh, I'm extremely excited. Uh, just playing at the, these types of events uh, gets you better. You're playing against the best. Uh, and when you bring the best players in the world, who are already, some of them are already playing professionally, uh, it'll help me even more. I don't think there's any question that offensively you're going to be able to compete um, you know, from day one for Kentucky. But what about defense and rebounding? Uh, how, how do you plan on, on addressing that part, those parts of your game? Um, I mean, I'm, it's, it's, I'm constantly working on them. Uh, I'm working on getting quicker and stronger, but also it's just all fundamentals. You don't have to be the, the most athletic guy, but if you get the techniques down, and uh, I think you can be a successful rebounder. Thank you so much, Kyle. Appreciate it. Best of luck.